It was a cold Thursday in January, the kind of cold that chills passions, freezes hope, and turns the local stray tabby into a catsicle. It's the kind of cold that keeps the clients away. That's why I was so startled when opportunity kicked in my door and ushered in a salesman, a salesman who was selling murder. Well, okay, shellfish, shellfish, and murder. Are you Nick Bounty? Thank goodness I found you. My name is Arthur Griffin. I sell fresh crabs, and I just thought you'd like to know that the. I got it. I got it. <clears throat> Five hundred easy steps to fingerprinting. Step one: evaluate the scene according to code. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> This seems needlessly elaborate. I got it. I got it. This crate came from the shiny Barnacle Shipping Company over on the south side. I should check it out. There we go. I cut it down to a five-step leaflet. Step one: make sure the victim has hands. Check. The victim has hands. Step two: get an ink pad. I only had one clue to go on, but it was a hot one, hot enough to melt Leona Helmsley. Not. He looks busy doing something. Ow! What's the big idea? Hey, you're no kid. What are you doing here? Excuse me. What are you doing? I'm polishing the barnacles. These things don't get shiny by themselves. What do you know about crabs? Very itchy. But don't worry. You can get this special shampoo to get rid of them. No, that's not what I. Never mind. Ever hear of a guy named Arthur Griffin? Sure. He usually docks his boat here. I haven't seen him or his boat around much lately, though. Not since he started hanging around those guys in the fancy suits. I've heard enough. I only took one. Hey, this squid is afraid of the crab. These are just like the one Arthur brought into my office. I don't need to use that. <sighs> just another crate of crabs. Wait a minute. These crabs aren't real. They're counterfeit crabs. Ugh. You know, if there's a bunch of counterfeit crabs going around, someone's sure to have noticed. I'll start by checking some local restaurants. I got it. No. Sorry, that's not a valid ID card. Step three: swab the victim's finger with ink.
There, I did it. Step four. Press the finger firmly against the fingerprint card. There, I did it. Step five, enjoy the satisfaction of a job well done. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, that's not a valid ID card. It's missing a photograph. Cut out a picture of his face. Ah, uh, very good. Welcome to the Blue Crab Cafe. Yay, I'm in. Business didn't look too good at the Blue Crab Cafe. Last time I saw a place this empty was at a showing of the musical Rent, but at least then, someone had the decency to set fire to the building and put everyone out of their misery. Hi, I'm Sandy, your waitress. Our specials tonight are crabish cakes, flounder stuffed with crab-like meat, and I can't believe it's not Alaskan King crab legs. Aren't you going to seat me first? <sighs> There's no point. No one stays for dinner anymore. Are these the only choices? Well, um, we also have something that is an awful lot like cabbage. No thanks. I'm not hungry. Ma'am, are you selling counterfeit crabs in this establishment? Oh, this is horrible. Ever since Gutman, our cook, got involved with those, those counterfeiters, business has been terrible. Maybe you should talk with him. Actually, I'm on a simulated food-free diet. I got it. Please don't. I'm listening to that. The cook won't let me have it. He's too wrapped up in the blues. Are you aware that you are selling counterfeit crabs? I know. You realize it's against the law? I know. It's gonna ruin your business, you know. I know. It doesn't even taste like crab. It tastes like... shoe. I know. What were you thinking? I don't know. Listening to the blues isn't going to help. I know. This music is only going to make you feel worse. I know. The blues scale consists of five notes in the minor pentatonic scale plus one diminished fifth note. I know. Depression is a treatable biochemical illness. I know. Why are you listening to this? I don't know. Nice kitchen. Lots of space. I know. Well, this is depressing. I gotta go. Nick Bounty, the boss wants to see you. The boss? Bruce Springsteen? Uh, I liked his older stuff, but... Hey, are you one of the E Street Band? Let's go. The boss. He turned out not to be Bruce Springsteen at all. Just a fat guy with a lot to talk about and nothing to say. He might have been Rush Limbaugh, actually. So you're the one poking his nose around my business. That's a very dangerous hobby, Mr. Bounty. It's safer than your cholesterol levels. What are you gonna do, Mr. Bounty? Have me arrested for crab counterfeiting? I'll get a slap on the wrist at the most. Maybe. 
but they'll slap you into the chair for murder. Arthur Griffin was about to rat you out. He was going to make you stop using his boat to bring the fake crabs into the country. You had to stop him. You have no evidence. It's my word against yours. Now get out of here and stay out of my business. The glass is steamed up, probably from his sweaty neck. I can hear him talking on the phone, but I can't make out what he's saying. Weird. It's full of cut-up tin cans. I got it. I hear when crabs get mad, they spit. Hmm. I got it. I got it. There, I did it. I got it. It reads, got a problem? Need someone to take care of it? Call 555-8484. I promise to get the job done. Can't talk! Got rats! Hey, I made a nifty little trap. Nope. Was gruesome. I've never seen a rat run so fast with a toy crab attached to its face. Closing up so soon? Well, I've been having a few problems lately. Oh? Something funny with the crabs? Nah, the building's got rats. I gotta shut down until I can get someone to take care of it. So, everything's fine with the crabs, then? My only problem is with the rats. I need to hire someone to get the job done. Well, good luck with all that. Here. I think I found someone to take care of that rat problem for you. Yeah, this is perfect. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a call to make. There, I did it. I knew it. He's having an incriminating conversation. If only I had some proof. It's working. I can hear him taking orders for the dummy crabs. I 
I've got all the evidence I need now. On wax! What are you doing back here? The jig is up, you. I got a 78 here, detailing your whole operation. Come along quietly, or I might have to get rough. And I really don't want to have to touch you. You deluded backwater fool. Surely you'll realize your evidence will never be admissible. Yeah? Why not? Because it doesn't exist. Damn you to hell! Damn you all! <laughs> you got nothing! Wait a minute. I found these cans sliced in half in the garbage. I bet if we took these down to forensics, the knife pattern will match the knife I found in Arthur's back. Well, then we'll have to make sure those cans never get there. The boss was dead and the case was closed, but I didn't feel good about it. It got me thinking to what lengths a person will go to falsify seafood. It left a bad taste in my mouth. Ah, actually, it kind of tasted like chicken. Chicken of the sea. <laughs>